I'm working on a 2006 Chevy Tahoe. I'm replacing the rear brake lines. I watched some videos like you were doing for the best way to go about doing this and a lot of them told me to take the fuel tank out. I started looking at things when I took the wheel off and I took the plastic fender well cover out. You can see the wonderful central and midwest corrosion from the winters and the salt what it does to your frames and and your brake lines they corrode in all the holders where they collect mo moisture and and keep the salt corrosion in there i had my brake line blow out under the middle of the driver's door and lost all brakes had to have the vehicle towed what i come up with was I took the six body mount bolts out. They take a 21 miller, millimeter socket. I zipped them out and lifted the cab off the frame, two, two and a half inches or so. There's one body mount. There's another that's right there. And there's three more down the frame like this. There's one up front that is under the battery down there. It's a through bolt. It's a number 15 on top on the bolt head and a 18 on the bottom on the nut. I'm making this video just to pass along. It took me no more than 10 minutes to zip out these bolts and use that jack with the boards under my step bar to jack this cab up two and a half inches. This gives me clearance to reach in and even touch my fuel pump which you can't do when this is down on the body, on the frame. I moved this wire out of the way. It goes over here in these clips, this wire loom does, all the way down the frame. So I moved it out of the way. Underneath where the driver sits, where the driver's feet sit on the floor is an active brake control module. This is one of your rear lines and the one next to it on top is one of your rear lines. Right and left brakes. I soaked these with WD-40 for several hours while I did other things. I recommend using a flare wrench to bust these loose. You get a flare wrench on there, it's a 9 16 on these flare fittings. If you have a flare wrench. And then when you get them loose, If you have a stubby wrench, you can wrench these off quicker and easier. If you don't have a stubby wrench, if you have an old 9 16 just cut it off halfway and clean up the edges and you have a stubby. I did take the wire out away from the frame here by disconnecting the active brake module, active brake control module. It plugs in on the side here. It's fairly easy to get undone. You just move this lever to the back and this pushes this plastic up and you wiggle this off and it comes undone. Just take take care when you're doing undoing these clips and stuff. You can manipulate these with a screwdriver, pop them apart. There's a couple of things I want to share about when you're looking for the brake lines. I originally looked with O'Reilly's. They were 150 something dollars. They were made by Dorman and they're stainless steel. Um, I did find the same part number on Summit Racing and they were only $95. I just wanted to share this with you. There's the Dorman part number, 919-154 couple things you have to know this will work these these are for 2003 to 2006 Chevy GMC Cadillac you need to know what engine you have you can find that in your VIN number in the middle you'll have a Z or a T and I had the L59 and then if you don't know if you have active brake control or not 
you can look at your RPO code sticker in your glove box. It's a white sticker with a bunch of letters on it. Look for the three digit JL4. I found mine somewhere in the third row and that confirms I have active brake control. I will post a second video when I install the stainless steel lines. I don't think I covered these these two lines run back here. I took one off already. As I said, I soaked them with WD-40 and these come out okay. I was surprised. 